Okay, welcome back to Linux. Today we're going to look at configuring a web server. So if you look at your lab, we're going to make a couple of changes to it. It's pretty much going to be the same thing. Uh, just a few usability changes for our uh, distribution. So we have configuring a web server there. You, know, you can start a couple of VMs if you want to. You can do this on a single VM too. Uh, you don't need two VMs to uh, create a web server as your client and server can exist on the same machine, or you could put this across two or three or four virtual machines, any way you want to do it. Uh, the basic setup here, we can see the server IP address, which is whatever your server IP is, and then a couple of names to set up. The two names I'm going to set up, I'm going to set up uh, yourname.ae, and this is fine, you can put like fatma.ae if you want to, uh, and csf2903.ae, so I'm going to create both of those. First, Let's install Apache 2 if you don't have it. The way you do that, I'm going to switch over to root, type sudo, I'm uh, sorry, app get install Apache 2. Okay, if you look at the screen, it says it's already at the newest version. So I'm going to say service restart Apache. We'll actually, we'll start it a little bit later on. Now we're going to go over and get our basic setup in Etsy hosts. In Etsy hosts, this allows us to override DNS. So if we ping something like www.hct.ae, which I don't think doesn't exist, I think ac.ae, I think that's what we are. If we ping that, we get that address back. We can change that. We can change that locally by changing vi Etsy hosts. And down in here, which I've got a couple of addresses set up already, Delete those. Delete that. And uh, I've got my 1025.115.101. That's my IP address. And I'm going to go ahead and put in a couple of addresses here. So I for insert, tab, www.hct.ac.ae. And um, we'll just do that. So what I've done is I put my IP address and the D DNS name. So I'm going to save that. The way I found my IP address, I have config, and then I'm using my wireless right now. And on the wireless, we have a 1025.115.101. So that's my IP address. So now if I ping HCT, it comes back that it's me. So if I want to undo that, I go back into Etsy host here, and I can just delete this entry. I'll change it to... Uh, Let's change it to www.csf2903.ae. Now I took out the hct.ac.ae and I put in csf2903.ae. So now I'm going to ping the hct again. And if you notice, it goes back to that public address that it was before. Now let's ping www dot csf 2903.ae now we can see this one comes back as my IP address well there are a couple I want to set up here so I'm going to go ahead and set up two addresses I'll set up the csf 2903.ae and in the same line I can set up the next address www.fatma.ae we can set up anything www.yourname.ae like that, we can set it up all in one line, or we can go down each line. If you have multiple web servers, and each one has a different address, then you're going to want to go down, and you type the IP address here, and then the name. So this would be like 10.25.115.102 for Fatma.ee, whatever. In this case, everything I'm using has a single IP address, so I am going to leave it just like that. And save. And of course with a VI, escape colon WQ will uh, we'll save it for you. Next thing we're going to do is after we uh, we set up that yourname.ae, we're going to ping that thing. Be sure that we can ping it. Be sure it comes up. Yep, sure enough. And the way I'm canceling that ping is I'm hitting control C. So, you know, that control dash C thing. So I start the ping, then I hit control C to stop it. Now let's make some web server directories. In um, our Debian-based distributions, 
the web server is located in var dub dub dub. So let's check out var dub dub dub. We're going to make a file here, we'll, uh, vi index.html, and I'll say HTML, hello world, let's see, world, <laughs> dot, and then slash HTML. Okay, now let's look at that. So I'm going to restart my web server, make sure it's started. There are a couple ways you can do it. You can do it like this. And I'll show you how to get rid of this message in just a minute. Or you can say service, Apache 2, restart, like that. Either way. And I'll show you how to get rid of this message once we start creating our real websites. So let's go to a web browser. And we'll go to www. Dot, oh, your name dot AE. And we get hello world. So we know that your name dot AE works. And CSF2903 dot com AE. AE, that works too. That both goes to the main directory. I would like to know when I'm in the main directory. So I know hello world is in the main directory. Let me go back over to my uh, directory here. I'll look in there. I got index.html. I'm going to vi this file again. I'm going to say hello to the root web directory. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to save that. Now if I go over here and hit refresh, we can see that we're in the root web directory with that address. And that also works if I type localhost. So localhost takes me there. www.yourname.ae takes me there. I think www.fatma.ae, I think that takes me there too. Yeah, that takes me there too. Fatma.ae. It automatically flipped over to yourname.ae. So, bi, etsy, hosts. If we go back and look at this, you can see the addresses we've set up again. I want to remind you, this is where we set up the addresses. This is not going out to the internet and finding the address. It's pulling it right out of this file. And, you know, I probably should. If you have multiple web servers, you would type 10.25.115.102 or whatever you have for each one of these. <coughs> we'll just make it obvious. So it's 10.25. For me, it's 10.25.115.101 for each one of these. For you, it's probably going to be a, a 10.0.1 or a uh, 192.168, depending on how you configured your system. It's going to be different for any system you use, so be sure you get your IP address right, right there. So I'm going to save that. And this is an example. You can set up one server here, another server over there, another server over there. In this case, you can notice I've got my IP address. This is one server, but I did just specify it for three different names there. And that's totally fine. You can do it one line. You can do it multiple lines, um, however you want to do it. So I'm going to save that. Now, inside of this, I'm going to make a directory. So I'm going to make a directory. Let's see, Fatma.ae. Make a directory, CSF, 2903.ae, and make a directory your name.ae. So those three directories are there now. Inside those directories, there's nothing there. So I'm going to do that echo statement like we see in the lab, echo, and we'll say, welcome to Octama.ae to click index HTML. Do the same thing for the others. CSF 2003. And I'm going to put that in the CSF directory. CSF 2003 index.html file. And then I'm going to do the last one, which is uh, your name. Which is just funny because it's your name. Uh, your name.ae. Oops, I didn't put the AE in the other. It doesn't matter, it's just a web page. And then we're going to go to uh, your name. <coughs> Did I not put that in there? Put that in there. There it is. Your name dot AE index dot HTML. Now with each of these that I created, 
This is the text inside the index.html file. So if we view this, we go to yourname.ae. This is the root web directory. We're not going to your name. So if we go to like the fatma.ae right there, root web directory. Of course, localhost should give us the root web directory. And then the CSF AE is also giving us web directory. Well, if I go over here and I type, oh, we'll just do the CSF. If I do the CSF and put a slash on it and then say fatma.ae, then it actually gives me that fatma.ae directory. I can do the same thing for the CSF directory, csf2903.ae directory. That comes up, or I can do it for the your name directory. Your name dot AE. Notice this right here, after the domain name, that first little thing, that is a directory on your web server. That's how a web server works. You've got the name that points you to the web server, and then you have directories on your web server. Well, we don't want to have to type your name dot AE every time we want to get to your name dot AE. We just want to type dub 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 dot your name dot AE. But right now it takes us to the wrong directory. So it says hello to the root web directory. We need to go to the correct web directory for yourname.ae. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to set up virtual host. So if we refer back to the lab here, we set up our names with our IP address. The IP tables are open on my system, so I don't need to do that. Just to show you the IP tables, the way we do that is IP tables dash capital L. Uh, the dash capital L lists your tables. You can see that everything is blank, so I'm not filtering anything on my firewall. And then we go down to the uh, web configuration. That's the service start. We've done that. Now this right here will make it where it starts every time. I don't want my web server to start every time I restart my PC. Uh, but you should know this command just, to, just so you can get that thing to uh, start when you start the web server. On my PC, I don't want that. Over here, eLinks is a text-based uh, text web browser. Uh, there's also Links, which is L-Y-N-X, um, like this, and that takes you to the Hello Root Web Directory. Quit. Yes. So that right there, and you can do eLinks uh, like that, which I don't know if that's installed. It's not installed. All right, right here it says looking it up. When it looked it up, it actually found it on my PC. It did not go out to the internet. It found it in my Etsy host file. So that's where it found the name and the IP address. All right, going back over to the lab here. We made some directories. We put, we put some text in the index.html files. And uh, we use index.html on, uh, on all platforms. Uh, the reason index.htm exists, or default.htm, that is uh, because Windows did not support anything other than 8.3 naming convention in the past. That means 8 characters dot 3 characters. So you could not have a name that was longer than 8 characters long, and you could not have an extension that was more than 3 letters long. Um, Unix did not have that problem, so we do have the index.html on a Unix Linux system. And now Windows does support uh, more than three letters um, in the extension. Now, right down here, we're going we're to diverge just a, we're going to switch from this lab just a little bit here to uh, to explain how the sites work. So we need to next we're going to set we uh, made the web server directories. We looked at the web server directories in our browser, and now we're going to configure virtual hosts. Now remember, when we go to these directories, like this uh, CSF2903, we look here, we got that CSF2903. We don't want to have to type www.csf2903.ae slash csf2903.ae every time we want that directory. So up here, right now, we have to do that. If we type www.csf2903, it gives us the root web directory. And then we have to type slash csf2903.ae to get to the right directory. We don't want to do that. We just want to be able to type that name and get to the right directory. And right now, it's taking us to the wrong directory. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to set up virtual hosts. So right here, you can see where I am. 
my present working directory is var www. I'm going to switch to cd etsy apache2. Actually, I just go there. cd etsy apache2. I'm going to look at that directory. There are a couple of things here. We've got sites available and sites enabled. I'm going to cd into sites available, and we're going to look at what they have. They have 000-default and default SSL. Well, we're not configuring SSL today. We're just doing a regular default site. So let's uh, let's look at that default site. So I'm going to VI that default and look at all the options in here. There's a bunch of text in there, but you can see that only four lines of this file are actually in use. We actually need these two lines, the server name, server uh, that, that document root. So we need server name and document root are the two that we need. But we're going to go ahead and use five of them. So I'm going to copy this file, copy, 00defaultconf to vhosts.conf. Now, when I copied this over, this default to vhosts, this in your lab is actually uh, it's doing it a little differently. It's doing the sites available default to the Apache 2 sites available CNET HCT com. Um, we're, we're not going to do that today. We're going to do uh, conf because these configuration files are a little more, I guess, uh, maybe a little more common. Uh, so now let's look at the vhosts.conf and we're going to delete a bunch of these lines. D7D, need that. Uh, you know, I don't even need server admin. I'll leave it there. Server admin's fine. Uh, D5D, DD, and D7D. D7D. I deleted one line too many, so i got to put in the slash uh, virtual host right there to close it off. Now this is the imp this is the stuff that we're looking for here. This server name, that example.com, that is the server name that we need to uh, visit. That's the one we're trying to visit. In our case, it's CSF 2903.ae. Webmaster at localhost, sure, why not? And this document root, this tells it where it's located. So that var dub 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 slash CSF 2903.ae. So that's the directory we have for it. Now the error logs, that just shows you where the error log is, which is the Apache log directory, or uh, var log, and uh, then the error log. And the access log just shows you who accessed it. So I'm going to leave those there, because those are good to have. Now we've got our document group set, we have our server name set. Let's go ahead and do that for our other sites too. So I need all of this text, and I need it for both my site called Fatma.ae, and I need it for yourname.ae. So I'm going to paste that there and paste that there. So now my server name here, www.fatma.ae, Fatma.ae, and down here, yourname.ae, oops, and then yourname.ae. So now we have our three virtual hosts set up. Oh, and there was one thing I said I would mention is server name. To get rid of that Apache error, which I'll go ahead and show it to you again. To get rid of the Apache error that we, uh, that we experience when we restart Apache, it says, you know what? I can't identify my server's fully qualified name. Well, the way you do that is we go to this vhost here, and we're going to say server name and we'll just say localhost there. If you put that line right at the top of the file, then localhost will be the default server name, and that's going to take care of that problem. Okay, I'm going to save this file again. Now that I've made this, you can see that we're in the sites available directory, and we need this to be in the sites enabled. So I'm going to go up one directory, cd dot dot, and look at this. We have sites available. We have sites enabled. There's a way to do that. You can actually type the uh, Apache 2 enable, and it will, you know, enable the site, whatever. But I'm going to just do this. We're going to type ln dash s Etsy Apache 2 sites available vhost conf to Etsy Apache 2 sites enabled. What I'm doing is I'm saying link symbolically this vhost file to this directory. You can do the same thing by copying it, but in this case, I'm just going to uh, enable it by, uh, by linking it. 
So by doing that, now if I look in my Sites Enabled directory, you'll see that I've got my little uh, linked file that goes back to that directory. And if I look in my Sites Available directory, you'll see that that's my actual file right there. Now let's restart Apache, which is, uh, I think we're going to look at the service Apache 2 restart command. I think that's the one we want you to know. Uh, the other one, of course, is Etsy init D, Apache, and then restart like this. On some of the other Unix servers, you may have to do a SIG hump, uh, restart it through a process, but we're not having to do that. Now let's see if we can visit this site. Remember, this is the root directory before. Well, I'm going to refresh this and see where it goes. There we go. Now if I go to CSF2903, it goes to CSF2903. Let's go to yourname.ae. There we go. Yourname.ae. And the last one was Fatma.ae. And there's Fatma.ae. So you can see that each one goes to the right directory. Now if I try to go to the CSF directory again, 2903.ae there, like we did before, it doesn't, it can't get there. It's not there. Those directories do not exist. CSF2903.ae, not there. So that's because we redirected that right there to the directory batma.ae. So if I go back over, I'll cd to var dub 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 and look at those directories. I'll type tree so we can see them. We can see those directories right there. I got my index in each one like that. Go up here, type localhost. Localhost is taking me straight to CSF2903. And that's because CSF2903 is going to be the very first directory in my, let's see, let's see, let's see, Apache 2 sites enabled vhost. That's going to be the very first site that I have defined here. If I want to change that, I can go over here and I can make uh, whatever changes I want. I can say uh, document root var dub, dub like this and set that. Restart Apache. Now look at that, and it says it's a virtual host directive, and it didn't work. I, I didn't put it in a virtual host. Nice. Virtual host star colon 80. I got starting with host, and then virtual slash slash virtual host host click there. And this right here just sets up my default directive. And this is usually not set in your vhost config. This will be set in your Apache comp or your httpd.conf file. I'm going to set it right here and restart Apache and we'll see if it works now. Oh yes, and now I've got that in a virtual host and I don't have it uh, defined anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. let's copy this. There. Now I can get to my localhost again. Now if I do a slash csf 3ae you can see I get that directory just like that by going from localhost. And that's how that works. If I want to get to csf2903 through the right way, csf2903.ae, then I can do it that way. Now there is something here I should show you. That if you go to csf2903.ae, it's going to say I can't find that website. And the reason it can't find just CSF2903, or there are going to be two reasons. One is we didn't set up an Etsy host, so it's not over here. We don't have that defined. If I go over here and I say, yeah, let's define that, CSF2903.ae, then now it's there. And the other thing is it's not in our vhost, but I'm going to show you now that it's there. CSF2903, refresh. And it says, whoa, root directory, but that's supposed to be our CSF directory. What's the deal? If I take off the dub 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 there, it just goes to the root directory. Well, that's because in our vhost, we haven't set it up. What I just mentioned there was in our, yeah, where am I? 
Okay, let me pop back over. So I'm going to VI, sites enabled, vhosts, and right here, the server name, we've got another option we can put in, which is server alias CSF 2903.ae. You can also do it in the server name. And now I'm going to restart Apache to reread that file. Once it rereads the file, now I can refresh and go to the right directory. So that's how the directories work inside of Apache. Let's see if we've covered everything here. We have uh, our sites. We have that all set up. We have the Apache running and monitoring HTTPD activity. That's monitoring our web server activity. Though the way we probably do that is we type a tail f var log, and then we we'd look at our Apache two logs, which Apache two. And remember that access log? We'd look at that right there. And uh, so I just open that log, and if I hit refresh, go back to the log, and you can see where I access the server again. I think that what we want you to do is uh, we want you to do a netstat NLT. Look at the connections there, and then in T to look at the client connections going out. So you can see the client connections going out. Let's look at grep80, which does the netstat NT grep80. Only looks at uh, port 80 there, or actually looks with anything with an 80 in it, not just port 80, but anything with an 80 in it. In that case, uh, we have 80 right there, 80 right here, and uh, we can see that TCP. Um, port 80, which is a web server on TCP v4, and we also have it running on TCP v6. So we've got port 80 there too. All right, I think that's it. Let me uh, scroll down. That is, that's it. Um, yeah. All right. Now that we have that going, you've uh, configured a web server, or you installed Apache, you set up your your little local DNS there, which is your hosts. You made your web server directories. You observed the web server directories inside of a browser. You configured virtual hosts in Apache 2. And if you remember, the virtual hosts are located in slash Etsy, Apache 2, slash site stash available, and, so, and Etsy, Apache 2, site stash enabled. Um, and then we visited websites by their proper name which uh, is like uh, the yourname.ae csf2903ae. Well, I hope this helps, and uh, if you have any questions, contact me anytime.